Welcome to Laura Wen Fundamentals. My name is Johan Stocking. I am CTO and co-founder of the Things Industries and tech lead of the Things Network. I'm also chair of the security work group of the Laura Alliance. And in this video, I'm going to present you everything that you need to know about Laura Wen. So I'm going to talk about Laura, the modulation, Laura Wen, the protocol, uh, some security aspects that are important to know. Also, uh, something about end devices and gateways, and finally, how to get started. But first, why is LoRaWAN so awesome? So there are 10 reasons uh, that make LoRaWAN unique. You find these things also in other uh, low-power, wide-area networking technologies, but this set of features, the combination, is really powerful in LoRaWAN. So first is ultra-low power. It's long range, it has deep indoor penetration, it makes use of the license free spectrum, so you don't need to obtain a license to deploy a LoRaWAN network. It supports geolocation, and that means that the network can determine the location of your devices. Uh, LoRaWAN is also unique in the uh, ability to deploy both public and private networks with this very same. Uh, devices and the same gateways and the same uh, software. Um, also, it has end-to-end uh, -end security built in right into the LoRaWAN protocol. It supports firmware updates over the air. Uh, there is a certification program. And finally, there is a very large ecosystem of device makers, gateway makers, uh, network service providers, uh, as well as uh, application developers. Um, some of the use cases are uh, natural disaster prevention, agriculture, also lots of industrial use cases like um, uh, monitoring of, uh, of industrial sites uh, over long range, but also controlling things, controlling valves, for example. Um, LoRaWAN is also really powerful in smart city use cases, uh, monitoring buildings, um, and also obviously supply chain. Um, and, uh, and smart metering. There, there are many, many different uh, use cases in LoRaWAN, and that, that also makes LoRaWAN really powerful, is that it's, um, you can use it in, in many different uh, verticals and areas. There are many uh, network operators, and it's really a global technology. So you can use LoRaWAN uh, all over the world, uh, everywhere where there is a, uh, there are regulations uh, with a license-free spectrum, and it's basically everywhere. Um, what does a LoRaWAN network architecture typically look like? So this is the topology. On the left, you see the end devices. Uh, they are connected to a gateway. Actually, there's not really a connection between an end device and a gateway, but the gateway is basically listening for messages that end devices are sending, and the gateway is transparent. It passes the message, it forwards the message to a network server. And the network server identifies the end device and does some security stuff, some network management stuff um, that I'm going to uh, present later. And then you have on the right side the application layer. So that's typically what you as a solutions developer use to get your data, to uh, manage devices, to check the status, to send messages back. Uh, and that's typically just uh, internet APIs that you're, that you're used to. So what's the difference between LoRa and LoRaWAN? So LoRa is the physical layer. And in here in this slide, it's, it's, the, it's the layer below. Um, uh, so you have different regions, different bands. Um, so in Europe, for example, in, in, in the US, in Asia, um, there, are, uh, there are different uh, frequencies that you can use. And then there's a lot of LoRa modulation. And LoRa modulation is really about transmitting data over the air and doing that in a very efficient way over long range. And I'm going to uh, show you the physics also. Uh, that's, that's very interesting. So that's LoRa. That's really just getting data through the air. Then in yellow, um, that is where uh, that is what LoRaWAN does. That is a, a MAC layer, media access control, and uh, the MAC layer is doing all the security features in LoRaWAN, uh, 
activating devices on a network, uh, frame counting, um, acknowledging messages, um, synchronizing the uh, windows that your application can send data to the end devices and things like that. And then on top in blue uh, is your is, is any uh, IoT application, basically.